Okay, Hyundai steering wheel noise and play. This is a knock in the steering shaft or steering column, and you can hear it knocking away there. Okay, first thing to check here, which probably isn't your problem, but just make sure that the bolts, the pinch bolts, are tight on the shaft universal joints. Uh, but the problem we're fixing today is really common in these. We've done three in the last couple of weeks, and it's in this electronic power steer unit here. And there is a rubber coupling that wears out on these. So you are going to need to be able to remove the airbag to get the steering wheel off, to get one of the covers off. Okay, so make sure you know how to do that safely by disconnecting the battery for the appropriate time before you touch the airbag. Make sure you mark where the steering wheel goes, because although it looks like it's master splined, it's actually not. You're going to need to remove the panel from underneath the steering column, as well as the panel around the steering column to get access here. And you will need to take the end panel off to get at the screws to release that panel under the steering column. Okay, so this is what we're looking at here, and we need to drop the steering column down to be able to do this. There are two nuts near the front of the steering column that you'll see, and then there are two further back behind the electric unit up past the steering shaft there, two bolts there. Okay, and then we are going to need to remove this flat unit um, off the bottom of the motor here. That is the control unit there. There are three torque screws holding that on. Once that is off, we can undo the four screws around the electric motor itself, and we are going to slide that out of there. Just be aware, too, that you will need to undo the wiring as it comes out. And once you've slid that out and look at it end on, you will see this flogged out rubber coupling here. Okay, and this is what it looks like up against a new one. So we just flick the old one out, slot the new one in there, and then we also just need to clean up around where that motor is going to slide back into, and then reassemble the whole thing. And once you've done that, That'll get rid of your noise there. Okay, I hope this has helped you out today. Don't forget to click a like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.